Crafty Crafty, please do hit that subscribe button below and make sure that you also click on the little bell to turn your notifications on. It will let you know every time I upload a new tutorial. It's completely free to subscribe and it's well worth doing. So we're in design space, you can see that I've got my design here. Now because it's a stencil, you can work with several pieces, but you do want to make it as easy on yourself as possible. So one of the best things to do, so for example with this image, is I'm just going to weld everything together. And then you can see how it's going to cut out. Now if for example there was more circles or there was other bits in there, you do have to place those individually depending on how you're going to do the stencil. We can then go to make it. Now when working with freezer paper you've got two options. You can either put it on the mat shiny side down or you can put it matte side down. Either way it doesn't really affect anything. However if you're going to put it shiny side down onto your mat then you don't need to mirror. If you're going to put it matte side onto your mat, then you do need to mirror. So I am going to mirror it because I just prefer to put it matte side down. So I'm just going to mirror it. Then we can go to continue. So the maker actually has a dedicated freezer paper setting the air does not, but with the air you can either have it on paper or paper plus and it will cut fine. It's always worth doing a test cut. To find the freezer paper setting we're just going to go to browse all materials. We're going to come down to paper and you can see the freezer paper setting there. We're just going to press done and then we can send it to the machine. So this is freezer paper, there is a shiny side and there is a matte side and as I say if you're going to put it shiny side down onto your mat then you do not need to mirror but if you're going to put it matte side down onto your mat you do need to mirror and we're going to put it matte side down onto the mat today. So I'm going to use a blue mat because it is still paper and I'm then just going to go in with my roller and make sure it's adhered and I can then go and cut it out. So you probably can't see the cutout very well but all we're going to do is just come in and very very gently start removing the paper. So this is what is left on our mat. Now we don't need any of this, we just need this middle recess bit. So we're just going to pull that off and then you can remove all of this from your mat. But if you wanted to do the stencil this way round, you could, but you're going to have to do a lot of piecing together. So you can see that I've placed my stencil on my makeup bag. Now I have put some masking tape down just to hold it in place and I've also put the middle piece in here. I'm going to put a Teflon sheet over it and I've got my Easy Press set to 280 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. So that is now ready. We can remove the masking tape. We do not need that anymore. So I am using these DecoArt So Soft fabric paints. I got these from acrylicraft.co.uk but you should be able to get them from any good kind of craft store. They are really really good. The only thing that I will say about a lot of fabric paints is they will need heat sealing and we'll talk about that at the end. So I'm just going to start painting my stencil now.
Once it's completely dry, you can come in and start removing your freezer paper. It will just peel right off. You may find that you get a few bits that stick. You can just come in and with your fingernails remove them or you can use a weeding tool. You then want to leave this to dry for at least 24 hours. So you could probably see when I took the freezer paper off that we'd had a slight bleed. You want to try and avoid that by really making sure your freezer paper is stuck down. I clearly didn't do that so you do want to make sure that you do do that. But if it does happen just go in with a fine brush and just do a few touch up areas. But you do then, if you do that, you do want to make sure that you leave it then to dry for 24 hours. So my one that I've used in this video hasn't dried for 24 hours, so I'm going to use this previous one I've made. Now if you're just going to use it and you've got no intentions of washing it, then you don't need to heat seal it. But if you are going to put it through the wash, then you will need to heat seal it. Now if you're going to use an iron, you want to make sure it is its highest setting, but you want to ensure the steam is switched off. You also want to press it for 10 seconds and you want to make sure you've got a Teflon sheet. I'm going to use my Easy Press today. I'm going to have it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds and again I'm going to place my Teflon sheet over. And then once it's heat sealed it will be absolutely fine to be washed but I would advise leaving it at least 24 hours after you've heat sealed it before you wash it.